I wouldn't say that AIDS is under control, but in my experiences, a lot of us who went through that whole thing are living pretty full and interesting lives, and I think that's important to recognize too. It's probably like 42, probably, so I was a late person. I was um, negative for a long, long time, and when I converted, I was pretty devastated because I thought, you know, look at everything I've done, like the Names Project was something that I'd accomplished. This is how my life has gone, was that if there's a problem, where do I fit in and what can I do using my talents and abilities to help this come to be? And so that was very exciting to me. It was a perfect kind of storm in a way when you think about it. That all that, we had access to everything we needed to pull off this basic idea of creating a quilt for people we lost. And so, you know, the sun rose that morning and we saw this empty grid of walkways, which were like about this wide, made out of fabric. And these bundles of the quilts the memorial quilts of the individuals were folded up into like this sort of flower sort of like fold, like an origami fold. And then people started showing up. And then... <laughs> the long-term survivors are the fabric of the new quilt that we're living now, you know, and that's going to be our memory I hope my memory when I pass away is that, you know, I was, I witnessed this, um, this epidemic and all this carnage and death, but at, the, but at the same time I survived this thing and went on to live a life that continued to nurture 